The next one, Zach didn't get the chance to see, and he should, because this movie changes lives, Zach. We have a new, I said it wasn't a Christian movie, and then I searched it up. No, it's it's a Christian movie. (laughs) Yeah. But, and uh, I I will quote this uh, because I thought it was a great way to showcase how these Christian movies have kind of been moving. They're turning God into the cameo role. So it really is putting people at the forefront, and I will say... That is the better version of these Christian movies. This is one of those where it's trying to tell you that, you know, people coming together is the, the, the honestly, we are the miracles, right? It's not mm-hmm. about this magical thing that's going to save you out there. It's about real people doing real things. Uh, it is based off a true story that happened in the 90s, uh, and it stars Hilary Swank, who is a, a, like a drunk lady, who, because she's going through AA, really tries to help this family out, who has a sick daughter, whose mother previously also passed in the same hospital that man is still paying off the mom's bills now needs to pay off the daughter's bill before she eventually dies this woman's like nah she takes it to the next level um it's got all the cliches that if you've seen any of these types of movies you're looking for i think people Mm -hmm. who want to come to these movies to cry are going to get that especially in the second half first half's kind of rough but I will give it credit that in that second half, I thought the themes really worked well because when they're confronting her in being an alcoholic, they pretty much tell her, and I thought it was very profound for a you know semi-Christian movie, you aren't doing something right. You're doing this out of guilt. That's still addict behavior. And I thought that was very grown for the movie to kind of take that route for it. Um, so out of the slew of movies that we get about like miracles, you know, we had that one a couple years ago that made it all the way to the Oscars where the kid fell into the, do you remember the ice? And that trailer was playing mm. like forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was Steph Curry produced. Obviously, this has a lot of people behind it as well. So I would give this one the benefit of the doubt. Uh for the watch because it actually cares about making a story where it's not just having you donate your tithes or just pray and hope that it goes well. It shows you that it's the actions that you take that actually becomes the miracles that people are waiting for. So, uh, Hillary Swank's decent. I, I like the boy. Yeah. Alan Richson, uh, Alice Richson, Richson. I always try to say Richard wrong. himself, right? Yeah. Reacher himself. I, you know, when I was rewatching catching fire, he plays like the big baddie in there. He's been around yeah. for a minute, but I never expected in a million years, bro. I got to pull Do up his s- IMDb. Uh, were you going to say TV show? Blue Mountain State. <laughs> How is that being reviewed, dude? Hold on. Let me let me pull this up right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing the news that they're remaking this. And it was around Fast X where I went back to see what he had done. And it blew my mind that he was the dude from Spike TV, dude. Zach, tell people what the show is about and how it is impossible to bring this back. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, yeah, they are apparently, like, you're breaking this news to me, so Which? I'm reading alongside with other, everyone, but they are doing a Blue Mountain State sequel series, or at least shopping it, it looks like. Uh, this was a show that was on... The uh, formerly Spike. named Spike TV, which if you're too young to remember that or or not in America, was like TV for guys. Not, not this yeah. other crap that's out there. This is TV yeah. for my bros. And this is a show. This is the most was, bro show. It took place at a college, followed the these people who are on the football team, but mostly it followed them around to frat parties where they would be binge drinking and uh, and and just like ha- having all sorts of like debaucherous fun, <laughs> yeah. belligerent fun. Uh, yeah, it is a ridiculous show that like. If you, if you were, like, college age in a certain time frame, you definitely got uh, shouted, like, quotes to you, like, over and over again. I I don't know if this show, like, can exist in 2024. The 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 yeah. early aughts were a different landscape out there. But it, Alan Richard's, like, a big star now. Uh, it's right? just so funny because this is where I know him from, and now he's this dude who's in... Christian adjacent movies with Hillary Swank <laughs> and the the biggest badass on Amazon TV with with Reacher and and he's in Fast X for crying out loud. Meanwhile, you and I know him as the dude who was slapping the boys <laughs> in the bathroom. You can't even see the IMDb trailer without it being like borderline red band. Yeah, they say they're bringing him back with this. I look. I'm well. They I'm did like curious. a whole movie starring his character. He because he was also that. a supporting character. I remember that, and he kind of was like the breakout star of that. Hell show. yeah, and he did it. I I love where he's at with his career. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Hey y'all, watch Ordinary Angels out in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Some good stuff over there. I give it. A, I give it like a a decent rent. If you got a discount code with the family, 
it's it's good enough for that. It's a little All too right. long though. They also gave me bonus features that were a whopping twenty extra minutes on top of the trailers, bro. They had me there almost till midnight. Oh, I was no. praying, please, just go to the movie, man. <laughs> it was a little too much, but that movie is out in theaters if you are curious.